Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption The annual race marks North Korean founder Kim Il-sung's birth. Several hundred foreign amateurs have competed in the Pyongyang Marathon, but turnout was half that of last year. The annual race is part of celebrations marking North Korean founder Kim Il-sung's birth in 1912. A U.S. travel ban and fears of nuclear war seemed to have cut numbers. The marathon is usually the peak time for Western tourists to visit. There were 429 foreigners competing on Sunday, compared to more than 1,000 who raced in 2017. At its peak, over 5,000 Western tourists reportedly used to travel to North Korea annually, a fifth of whom were American. But the U.S. imposed a travel ban last year after the death of Otto Warmbier, an American who was detained and held in North Korea for 17 months after traveling there on holiday. He returned to America in June 2017 in a coma and died shortly afterwards. The marathon started in the Kim Il-sung Stadium before wending its way past major landmarks in North Korea's capital, such as Kim Il-sung Square and the new development project, Murray Street. North Korean Ri Kong Bom won the men's marathon in 2 hours, 12 minutes, and 53 seconds. Image Copyright AFP, Getty Image Caption North Koreans turned out to cheer on competitors in Pyongyang. I'm glad that I was able to fulfill the expectations of the people, Mr. Ri said. Professional runners, including 13 competitors from African countries, ran in this elite category. The women's marathon was won by North Korea's Kim Hai Gong with a time of 2 hours, 27 minutes and 24 seconds. Her twin sister, Kim Hai, came a close second. Image copyright AFP, Getty Image Caption Kim Hai Gong, right, narrowly beat her twin Kim Hai in the women's professional marathon. The race is officially named the Meng Yang Day Prize International Marathon. Both the Association of International Marathons and Distance Races and the International Association of Athletic Federations accredited this year's race, with the latter classifying it as a bronze-label road race. Pyongyang began allowing foreign amateurs to run in 2014, and the event has since boosted tourism. Image Copyright AFP, Getty Image Caption There were 429 foreign amateurs competing in Pyongyang's annual marathon this year, less than half 2017's number tensions between the U.S. and North Korea seem to have weighed on prospective entrance minds, but recent moves by North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to calm the situation on the Korean peninsula, especially since the Winter Olympics in South Korea in February, appears to have dispelled some competitors' fears. Travel agencies said they had seen an increase in marathon interest from tourists in recent months. Matt Kulesha of Young Pioneer Tours, the tourism group that brought out a warm beer to North Korea, said although the number of marathon customers was down compared to last year, overall tourist numbers for 2018 remained on target. With so much positive talk of the DPRK in the media, maybe that aura of mystery, that aura of danger is almost disappearing, he said. Image Copyright AFP, Getty Image Caption Competitors ran past Pyongyang's Arch of Triumph near the end of the race but British student Callum McCulloch, who ran the half marathon, told the AFP news agency he was earning bragging rights by traveling to North Korea against government advice. The 23-year-old described Pyongyang as like the set of a Wes Anderson film, adding, if someone tells you not to go somewhere, not to do something, that makes you more want to go there, surely.